This autumn has passed by so quickly. Some trees turned early, while others hung on to the green. The winds are blowing the leaves off even as they change, so the colors have been very short-lived here in Suffolk. The rains have come, almost every day, which after another very dry summer is welcome. We need the rain to continue through the winter to replenish the water table here in the east. I've been hard at work, finishing up the audiobook of the Hedge Druid's Craft. With my husband working at home, when I'm narrating and recording, it can be a challenge as there is extra noise in the house, so I have to record it in the downstairs loo. I've started writing a new book and continue to write in my blog. I've also been making videos getting out onto the heath for exercise, and building my strength back up. I've been doing online yoga with my neighbor too, three or four times a week, to help me get my body back into shape. It's been a challenge getting used to my body post-surgery. My tummy is different in shape and strength, and I'm learning how to work with it and the rest of my body. Menopause is setting in. I have to watch out not to get too tired, as then I hit a wall and I can't do anything the following day. It's a learning curve, for sure. But being out in nature is perhaps the best healing of all. Well, that and my cats. Out on the heath, the deer rut is in full swing and there are so many beautiful stags this year. There are two that are especially lovely and seem very relaxed and calm when they see me. I've named them Boromir and Faramir. I stay on the path and they are very nearby, not moving until they spot someone else coming in the distance. I think they're brothers as they look so similar. Boromir is larger and has part of his ear missing. Faramir likes to hang out with the younger boys in their little gang. The does are equally gorgeous, and lots and lots of little ones. The colder air is coming, and the mornings will soon be foggy and mysterious. It was quite warm for Halloween, or Samhain, winter nights. I did a ritual in my back garden and watched the beautiful moon rise in the east. It's my favorite time of the year as I remember being a child in Canada and trick-or-treating with my siblings when the dark streets belonged to the kids for that one night and reality was suspended as all manner of costumes and characters were seen. It was a night of fantasy and fun, of testing the limits of courage in the darkness and getting lots of candy. Those memories will always stay with me as I feel an excitement as the season approaches, and then the change happens from autumn to winter as we pass through the liminal time when the veils between the worlds are thin. It's also a difficult time, and sometimes lonely, because I miss my family in Canada, and I don't know when I'll be able to go and see them with the current situation being as it is. Hopefully the world will be able to heal soon, and restrictions that are absolutely necessary now will be lifted in the future so that we can see our loved ones again in safety. 
Until that time, I remain here in Suffolk with the winter winds blowing across the heath and the deer at my side.